Hey guys, Kathy Rankin here with your weekly soaps roundup. And I don't know what part of the country you live in, but where I'm at, the temperature shot up from 77 degrees to 95 today. So everything's getting super hot. And speaking of super hot, there's a lot of hot stuff going on in the soaps and some pretty over the top acting and plot lines that are getting on my nerves as well. Okay, first on the bold and the beautiful, Brooke told Hope to focus on her husband, which is really funny advice coming from someone who always focuses on everyone else's husband. And then she warned Liam that Taylor is hoping something develops between Hope and Thomas. Now, Katie and Bill discovered their son, Will, you remember poor little Will, played matchmaker and set up a romantic dinner in Bill's office for them. And Flo began to wonder who her birth father was just as her mother, Shauna, was stunned to learn Bill was Wyatt's father. Now coming up, Bill learns Flo could be his long lost daughter, meaning we should all be highly disturbed that this would mean Wyatt's ex could be his sister. Ew. Okay, over on Days of Our Lives. Rafe returned to Salem with Jordan's son, David, which led to more tension in his marriage to Hope, as if they needed any more attention, who ended up then sharing another kiss with Ted. Now, JJ found the lighter Claire used to set the fire at the cabin, but believed it was Ben's, and Jack and Eve's not so brilliant plan to expose Trip and Haley's fake marriage at a rally was thwarted when the recording went missing, of course, so Eve announced she and Jack were getting married instead. Now, coming up, Rafe asked Jordan, who the father of her child actually is. Now, over on General Hospital, well, the soap opera celebrated 56 years on the air with a special episode sending around Gail Baldwin's will bequeathing a large sum of money to the hospital, but the residents had to earn it through, you guessed it, a scavenger hunt, because why not, you guys? Oscar collapsed and fell into a coma, and Kim and Drew were warned this may be the end for their son, and Jordan relayed news to Laura and Ava that Ryan's hand was located, but not the rest of him. I don't know about you guys, but do you remember the movie, The Hand? This is literally my worst nightmare coming true. Coming up, Sam uncovers something shocking about the dawn of the day cult, as if the cult itself isn't shocking enough. Now, finally on The Young and the Restless, much to my guilty pleasure, Phyllis was out, and Jack back in as CEO of Jabot, and Jack and Ashley took their companies to war, which is like the millionth time this has happened, and yet we still love every juicy second of it. Meanwhile, Ray and Sharon's first date quickly turned passionate. It is Sharon, after all, and the two made love, but later Sharon found Mia's ultrasound photo. Oopsies, total buzzkill. Victoria headed to Vegas on business, and she wound up in bed with the lead singer of a rock band. Well, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, people. Only this is the soaps, so probably won't stay secret in Vegas for long. And poor incarcerated Lily was being released early from prison, but filed for divorce and told Kane that she was moving on. I see the prison hasn't made her any less of a whiny pain in the bleep. Bleep me out. Okay, Mia's fake pregnancy coming up will become a real pregnancy. Can't wait to see how that's gonna be explained. And that's it for this week, you guys. We'll see you next week on the Soaps Roundup.